Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to figure out where a few of their friends have gone. So let's go and speak to them and let's go and see how we can help. Hello Naveed, there is a strange bed inside this house. Whoever sleeps on it gets sucked inside and can no longer return to the real world. Investigate this house and destroy whatever monster could be causing this. Wait, are you trying to say that there's a monster underneath this bed? Okay, that's very unusual, but let's go see what's going on and hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. Wait, is that a staircase leading inside the bed? Okay, that's very unusual, but I have a feeling whatever's going on, if we don't stop this, more villagers are going to go missing. So villager, don't you worry, I'm going to go ahead and do this and make sure everyone comes out safe. So thankfully they've given us an ender soul hat, which I'm going to go ahead and take, as well as an ender pearl to go ahead and teleport inside the bed. But guys, before we get started, it would be really awesome if the majority of you went down below and you pressed the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. And that way you'll never miss another video ever again. Well, here's our chance. Let's teleport inside. Whoop! Wait, where are we? I have a feeling we've teleported inside the bed and this is what's going on. But somehow we have to go ahead and make it to one of the three doors. And I can see so many villagers have tried to make it across, but they've all ended up dying. And sadly, I probably can't use our ender soul hand because as soon as we teleport over, we'll just fall into the lava. But I have noticed we've been given... Whoa! Loads of beds and loads of different types of weapons. So let me take out every single one and let's go see what happens. Oh, there's a path showing now. As soon as we got the beds, I think we can go ahead and place them and make our way across. Okay. Oh, there we go. And let's slowly by slowly figure out where it's trying to take us. Oh, here we go. It's trying to take us this way. And perfect. Ah, it's a dead end. This is awful. Okay, let's go and try again. I'm guessing we have to go ahead and take out some more beds and keep on going. Well, let me look around for another path and hopefully we should be able to do this. Oh, here we go. So we keep on going all the way around. And I think I found the next one. And perfect. And slowly by slowly, we have to go ahead and try and make it all the way to the other side. But I'm a little bit scared that we're going to run out of beds and we won't have enough. But we've almost made it to the second door. Hopefully this is the right one and we should be able to make it. Yes, we've done it. So now we can go ahead and teleport inside and hopefully we can make it to the next challenge. Whoa. Okay, sadly more villagers have made it to this next one, but they haven't made it across. Let's go see what's going on. Um, are, are we able to just go ahead and jump inside the water and swim across? But as soon as we do, there's no ladder to the other side. So let's jump and perfect. And no, we're not going to make it. We're dying inside this very poisonous water. No wonder the villager skeletons so want to touch it. Ah, uh, let's go and give this another shot. Hopefully this time we can take our time and make sure we don't get ourselves caught up. Let's jump over. I'm perfect. Then to the other side. And there we go. I think we've done it. Hopefully we should be able to do this. Ah, is that Baraku the Sun Chief? On a giant throne of diamonds and emeralds. Ah, uh, this is really scary. But I can start to hear his stomach rumble. I have a feeling he's hungry and he's looking for food. Let me take out every single one. And I'm guessing we have to go ahead and figure out what he likes. And if we choose the wrong food, he'll probably go ahead and try and kill us. Okay, let me just take out every single one and we should be able to do this. Hmm, I wonder what foods he's going to like. And I think I've figured out where all the villagers have gone ahead and disappeared to. They're all right behind him. I think he's going to probably go ahead and eat him if we don't get this right. But let me go ahead and give him some cookies. Yes, he likes cookies. Okay, that's good. Let me try some beetroot. It's the same color as his body outfit. No, he doesn't like that one. Let's go and do watermelon. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. And let me try the next one. Let's try a puffer fish. Maybe he'll like this one. And no, I don't think he likes it. Ah, and I think he's morphed into the next monster. Okay, we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves ready. Let's try and destroy him with our Thompson gun. And hopefully we should be able to do this. Ah, he's spawning minions. We should have gone ahead and given him some proper food. And he's getting angry. No. 
Being stuck inside a very small room is not easy for us whatsoever. But thankfully, because we are really close, we should be able to go ahead and kill him with our wonderful items. Perfect! We must be so close! Ah, oh, he's killed us twice now, but I'm sure a couple more hits and we should be able to do this. Perfect! We've destroyed him! Okay, let's go and try this out one more time and hopefully we should be good. No! He's killed all the villagers! This is why we should have never have gone ahead and fed him the wrong food. But we were given an iron pickaxe to go ahead and take out whatever was left behind. So let me go ahead and do this. And hopefully with our villager corpses, we should be able to go ahead and spawn back our wonderful villager friends very soon. Look, we're literally holding a poor villager in our hands. Let me figure out what we can go ahead and take. So I have realized we've got loads of cool weapons, which is definitely very unusual for us. And let me keep on trying with some different items. I'm going to throw in all the foods we definitely don't need anymore as well as making sure we throw in everything to make sure we bring back all the villagers. Let me just take all these items out and perfect and let's head back to the real world by using our ender soul hand which I think I might have just thrown back inside to teleport out of here. So let's go and do this. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Perfect! I think we've gone ahead and made it out. Villager, we've done it! And thankfully the bed has gone ahead and morphed into a brand new one. Villager, we're all safe now. There's nothing else to worry about so we can go ahead and close this door and start figuring out what all these items are. I'm just going to start randomly spawning them like the Frostmore! Whoa! Okay, let's be really careful. The Frostmore is going to be so angry if we go ahead and wake him. Which I think, just by standing close to him is enough. Should we just go and try and fight him and see if it works? Ah, I think he heard us. Maybe we were too loud. Then we just use my infiltrator weapon to go ahead and fight him. No! <laughs> Thankfully, we've almost done it. We are so close in going ahead and destroying him. Ah, oh, our weapons is all out. Let me go ahead and fight him with our ender soul hands. I'm perfect. We've done it. Okay, maybe we should have gone ahead and saved that weapon for something else. But for now, that was our best shot. And I have realized we've got so many unusual items that I definitely want to go ahead and try out. Like the hamster wheel. That's got a giant hamster right inside. <laughs> and we can go ahead and use it. This is absolutely insane. I probably don't want to fight any force moors or any dangerous mobs right inside. But this is a great way of making our way out of the village so we can go ahead and spawn the rest of these mobs. Which I'm going to start spawning right around here. Let's go see what happens. But for this we're probably going to have to go ahead and eat up and make sure we stay super safe. Let me try and spawn first then the magic lighthouse block. Whoop! That I think we've just spawned ourselves inside. And let me actually teleport out and let's go and see what's going on. Cool! This is actually really awesome. So we can go ahead and figure out what's going on inside by probably just spawning in. Nope, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, there's nothing inside except cobblestone, so I guess we're all right. Let me just go ahead then and do the next one, which is a bus block. I'm going to spawn it right here. Oh, and cool. And it says, please go ahead and type in a number. So I'm going to write 70, and it says in 10 seconds, it's going to go ahead and depart. So let's see what actually happens in a few seconds. For this, we're going to have to be so prepared that we've got to make sure we stay away. And there it goes. <laughs> it's going ahead and driving away. But what happens when it goes ahead and goes through blocks? Whoa, it crashed. Thank goodness we won on that bus. That would have turned out so bad for us. Let me keep on going, though, and let me spawn the two super mutants. Whoa! Okay, let's be super careful. Ah, these mutants are going to take over our world. We've got to make sure we go ahead and destroy them. But I've spawned them in a location where I probably can't get to very close. Maybe we can go ahead and spawn the ferocious rot nods. Whoa! Okay, let's be careful with this one as well. He's going to go ahead and try and destroy everything. Now's our chance. Let's hit him. I'm perfect. It is going to take a while to go ahead and fight him. So as long as we try our hardest, we should be really safe. I'm going to have to go ahead and make sure he uses all of his attacks. Here we go. I'm perfect. Ah, this is actually pretty easy. I thought it was going to be way harder. But maybe if we went ahead and spawned some golems, we could probably go ahead and fight him. Here he goes. Whoa. <laughs> Watch out for his attacks. Okay. Thankfully, it is turning out to be quite an easy fight. But as soon as he destroys us, it is going to be the end of the world for us. 
Whoa! Okay, we almost messed up so badly. We've got to be so careful with him, though, because at any moment, he's going to go go ahead and try and fight us. Perfect! Ah, maybe that wasn't too good for us. Um, I think I've left him around here. Uh-huh, there he is. We're going to have to go ahead and make sure we fight him off before he kills off any of the villagers. Watch out! It's going to be pretty insane! Maybe we can go ahead and use our ice crystal to go ahead and kill him. No, it's not working! <laughs> We've used up the whole crystal and nothing happened whatsoever. Thankfully, though, it is turning out to be a little bit easier than I expected. He's not taking too long to go ahead and fight us. Whoop! That's the attack we've got to be careful of. He's one of the strongest monsters ever. Whoa! Okay, let's go behind and hit him. Perfect! Only a couple more times. Rush behind! And perfect! I think maybe it's two left. Let's go and try again. Here we go! Let's go and try it out! And perfect! I think it's one more time. Here we go! This is the final time! No! I, there we go! We've done it! Oh, that took forever! But I'm so glad we had a chance to go ahead and fight him. Well, now that we've gone ahead and fought off that boss, let me try and spawn some more of the peaceful items for like, for example, the magic skyscraper. Whoa! It's building one of the tallest things I've ever seen. And it is literally one, two, three, up to five or six levels. Okay, that's pretty insane. But sadly, it is completely empty inside, so we won't have too much to do there. But the villagers is going to be so happy to know that going inside and venturing inside the bed was one of the best decisions ever. But now's our chance to take out a few items that hopefully should keep us safe. So let me throw in everything that we've gone ahead and used, and let's take out everything new. Let me try, for example, the wheelbarrow, that I think we can go ahead and sit inside, and someone will roam us around. <laughs> yes! This is so awesome! I've never had such an easy journey to go ahead and roam. But thankfully, it is a pretty fast ride, and it even goes up everything. Whoop! Okay, don't ride him up high spots. Let me go ahead and do another peaceful item, like the magic storehouse block. I'm going to spawn this one right here. And perfect. Let's go inside. And cool. We can go ahead and throw in all our items that we won't need for now. I'm going to go ahead and use those. And let's not forget to go ahead and guard it with a few golems, like the prismarine one. Let me take out the golem heads, and let me go ahead and see what happens. Cool! There he goes! I'm guessing he'll go ahead and survive inside the water and pretty much fight off any drowned zombies. But we are going to need some land ones, so let me take out a few different types, like the glass one. And perfect! And let's go and see if this works. Cool! We've got a see-through one! But sadly, he's not very strong, so at any attack he'll just go ahead and break. And let me do another one that's pretty fragile, like the packed ice one. And there we go. He will go ahead and turn all the water into ice. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, farmers. It's my bad. Let me spawn a few golems that won't go ahead and do that, like the guardian golem. And perfect, as well as the creeper golem that will go ahead and roam around. I think they're looking around for some evil monsters. Maybe we can help them if we go ahead and spawn the security cameras, where we can go ahead and watch everything as soon as we want. So as soon as we run away, we can go ahead and right click, we can choose the camera, and we can literally watch everything. See, I told you, this is so awesome. But I don't really figure out where we've gone. But so far, this is one of the best ways to look at the whole village. And we can go ahead and make things so much better as well if we take out the rest of our items. For this, we have a few TNTs, as well as a few other items like the unicycle, some nuclear death rays, and finally some different spawner blocks, which is going to be so awesome. Let me go ahead and do the baby snowmans. And cool. And look how cute they are. They're going to go ahead and keep our whole village safe. And then we can spawn some friends for them like the iron golems. <laughs> yes, this is so cool. I think they're going to run around and try and figure out which golem is their favorite. But sadly, we're down to our last few items. So for this, I want to go ahead and teleport as far away as we can to spawn the fiery TNT. Let me spawn this one right here. And perfect. And let's do it as far away as we can from the village. Perfect! <laughs> and let's go ahead and also do the slimy TNT. That will go ahead and keep on blowing up several times. I've seen this one explode like absolutely insane. 
Ah, it's right underneath us. Okay, there it goes again. It's going to blow up so many times that it will try and make its way down to bedrock. But it's not going to work. Let's try and get out of here as fast as we can. And let's go ahead and do the gravitational one. Maybe we could teleport slightly further away for this one as well. Let me do it right here. Let's spawn it. And it will go ahead and drag everything that's around you into the center. Where you can go ahead and try and destroy it with a nuclear death ray. No! <laughs> That was so awful. But thankfully, we're down to our last few items, which is the unicycle that we can try and make our way out of here. And perfect. As well as the final item, which is the magic trapped house. Let me spawn this one right here. I think this is a good spot. And perfect. Do you know what? This is really awesome. The villagers can go ahead and use this to keep everyone very safe. What a great way to finish our day. Well guys, it's been so cool today going ahead and testing out every single one of these items. Maybe for next time we can go ahead and try out something absolutely insane. But I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below the button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.